Hello, welcome to the student planning tutorial on registering for courses. This video will give you the tools to successfully register for courses. Remember, once you register for courses, you'll be charged a $45 non-refundable processing fee. Let's get started. Go to plan and schedule. As your courses should already be planned. Please be aware of any notifications in the upper right hand corner of the screen, since you will not be able to register without clearing any and all holds. Please note, you will not have access to registration until the registration period opens. Once you have planned your courses and registration is open, click View Other Sections to select desired days and times for your courses. You may move through available sections by clicking the arrows. Select the desired section and add section to schedule. A notification will appear once the section has been planned. Please be aware of section availability. If the planned course is full, it will appear outlined in red. There will also be a notification that the section is full. Please disregard the waitlist option, as College of the Mainland students do not have access to this function. All courses registered for will appear in green, and all planned courses will appear in yellow. To register for all planned courses, you may click the Register Now button. Registration errors will appear under Notifications and on the left-hand side of the screen. In this case, EDUC 1300 conflicts with Math 1314. You must remove one of the conflicting courses before you can proceed with registration. Simply click the gray X to remove the planned course. To register for an individual course, simply click the register button for the desired course. You will know that you have successfully registered for a course once the course turns green. If you would like to drop a course, click the drop button and update. Please be aware you will not be able to drop any developmental courses. You must meet with an academic advisor to do so. Please note that if you receive financial aid, you must take courses on your active degree plan. Once you have finalized your schedule and registered for courses, remove any planned courses. Finally, you may print your schedule by clicking the print icon. If you have any questions, please contact the appropriate department. 